Hello everyone, I'm Veronica Mee from Me Paintings and today I would like to share with you another creative fluid arts tutorial. I will be using this kind of palette, dark blue, lavender, pink, fox pink, yellow and turquoise and I will be using this special tool for my lines. I just quickly want to show you how I mix my paint. I need pouring medium, acrylic paint, some old yogurt cup and water. I'm gonna put blob of yellow in this cup like that and now I'm gonna mix one part of paint, one part of pouring medium. Mix it up very well. It's like a heavy paste now but I'm gonna add two spoons of distilled water into this mixture. One, two little spoons. Mix it up and this is the right consistency for my fluid art project. I've got this small cotton canvas here, which is size 20 by 25 centimeters. And I'm going to start by pouring this turquoise on my edges. So here, and I want to keep a little bit of turquoise for later on. This time my paint is much more thicker than usual because it needs to be thick. And you know what, I'm going to put a little bit more turquoise here on this side. Like that. And now I can start pouring my paints. I'm going to start with blue. So line here. All of it. Perfect. Then lavender. Pink. Let's cover the bottom with turquoise. Now I'm going to pour rest of turquoise here on this edge. And I've got this piece of old plastic sheet. You could also use cling film, kitchen paper towel, some kind of plastic which you find at home. And I'm going to swipe this turquoise all the way there. Now let's take this special tool and create a beautiful lines. I've got quite a lot of paint here on this edge. Let's just move it down okay let's try more of these little wiggles oh that's gorgeous i love that Let's do more.
I'm gonna follow the lines of this so this bottom part is in the same direction. Okay, that's gorgeous. I love that. I'm gonna let it dry for a few days and then I might keep it like this or I might turn it into something different. We'll see. I'm pretty happy with the result, so let's get it dry for a few days and then maybe I decide to do something more with it or I'm gonna keep it like this. Paint is dry, so now it's time to embellish it and I decided to do a simple thing. I'm gonna take this ruler, I'm gonna fill this bottom part with gray and this part will be overlapping the gray parts. So I'm gonna use my marker, do these lines. Now it's time to use black paint and thin brush and paint shadows underneath these lines. I put my brush in water, tap it on a tissue and then nicely blend it. So I'm going to do it all around these shapes and show you the finished result. So now it looks like this. And I'm going to use another thing, which is called gold finger. It's a very strong gold pigment, which I'm going to put on my tissue. It is very strong just a little bit of it and it will make a huge difference. Ooh, very strong, as you can see. And the shine added so much more difference into my painting and I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna use this special pen. It's called Mirror Effect Kit, which I bought in local shop. And it's special kind of glue. It has got tip like this and I will just put it on some places. And when the glue gets dry in about two hours, I will put golden sheet on the top of it and it will stick to the places with the glue so let's decide where i want my gold lines 
maybe here. It's orange now, but it will be see-through. So let's wait for it to get dry. Glue is dry, so I can put the golden sheets on the top of my glue. These are leftover sheets, which I have from previous paintings, so I can use them now. You have to be gentle with these because they tear very easily. I bought these in local art shop. If you will be looking for them, just search for golden sheets or golden embossing sheets. I'm going to put it here. Now I've got this very soft makeup brush and I'm going to get rid of these excessive foils. Glue is dry, so I'm going to put my embossing gold sheet on the top of my signature. It will just stick to it. Like this. And this is the result of my wiggly wave acrylic pour and I love the result. As you can see, with just a simple movement, you can create a beautiful piece. I just realized I should have put the signature on a different place because when I turn it like this, it looks much more nicer. So I think I might put it here or on this edge. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was inspirational for you. If you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. I love the shine on this. I also have got Instagram page Me Paintings where you can see all of my artwork. Thank you very much for watching. I wish you lots of success with your art pieces and can't wait to see you again. Bye!